hello fellow crafters Janine here and today I'm bringing you another Dorby Smart project this was May 2015 Dorby Smart and it is a, a cute little um, photo journal or photo book that you can make for Father's Day which is perfect timing and I'm really excited to try this out because I've never done anything like this before and it looks simple uh, and I just can't wait to see the results. I hope it comes out as good as the picture here. And as always, go to DarbySmart.com slash howto, and this uh, month's code is PHOTO, and it gives you all the directions for completing this project. So in the box, we've got some Mod Podge Photo Transfer Medium. Then the wooden pieces to make the cover of the photo book, a foam brush for applying the Mod Podge medium, and this cute little baggie here that's got the leather cord that I'm assuming you're going to cut in half to tie the photo book together. This envelope was in the box, which is really nice. I didn't print anything on it or seal it up, so I can actually reuse the envelope if I need to mail something. But these images were in the uh, envelope for you to choose from for the outside of your All right, photo. now I've got that image cut out to fit the size area that I want it to go on, and I'm going to do the same thing for the back cover. Now, one of the things that the directions say is if you're going to use print out your own image to use on the uh, to transfer, make sure you print it on a laser printer, or you will not get a clean transfer. It may not transfer at all, but they are very specific about making sure you use a uh, image printed on a laser printer. So I'm going to go ahead and, and go through the same process. I think I'm going to use this image for the back cover. So I think this will be something that will remind my husband of home, where he's from. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process for the back cover. And then we'll come back and show you how to transfer it. Okay, now it's time to do the image transfer. And according to the directions, it says place one side. I'm sorry, grab a couple pieces of scratch paper. And actually, I've just got some paper towel here. So then place your image face up on one sheet of scratch paper. Next, apply an even and generous coat of photo transfer Mod Podge to the face of your image. Carefully pull up the image and place it on a clean side of scratch paper image still facing up. Okay, it said even and generous coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and squirt this directly. Whoa. That just came out a huge glop. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this other image ready as well because that's an awful lot of glue. Now the directions say to take this off of the first paper, which makes sense because now it's full of glue, and place it on a clean sheet. So I'm going to do the same with both images. Okay. Now we place the wooden cover over try and position it and I did that very poorly so I'm going to try it like this okay Okay, now it says use a dry cloth towel 
to lightly press any bubbles or wrinkles. Start in the center and work your way to the edges. And set the wood aside. And then we wait 24 to 48 hours for the image to set. And since I'm in a humid climate, it says that I should wait 48 hours. If you're in a drier climate, you can wait 24 hours. But since we're in a humid climate, we're to wait 48. Okay, well, I guess over the next couple of days, what I'm going to do is... Go pick out some pictures that I want to put in this album for my husband to give him for Father's Day. I'll see you in two days. Well, it has been two days and these images should be ready to reveal. According to the Darby Smart website, uh, what we do is use a cloth towel and some soapy water, and just not very soapy, just mildly soapy and rub off all the visible paper using a soft circular motion and it says just to let the towel touch the paper so the idea I guess is not to press too hard so that you don't remove the image with the paper so stop right here. Um, the directions say uh, to wait about 10 minutes for the picture to dry and then to go over it a second time to remove the last bit of the excess fuzzy paper which I, I didn't do on this one and you can see I started pulling the image up and I certainly didn't intend to do that. I was getting I think I'm just using a little bit too much pressure and getting a little too carried away with rubbing this fuzzy paper off so I'm gonna stop and follow the directions and let this dry for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and just very gently try to remove the last little bit let me see if I can get this where you can see it a little better you know that last little bit of fuzzy. okay I've actually given this about 20 minutes to dry and um, I tell you I'm, I'm having some real difficulty with it while it was drying I just kinda did like this just with my fingers to take up some more of the paper and I'm having a very difficult time getting that white hazy bit of paper off to reveal the image underneath I mean you can see on this one quite a bit of the image came up and I, I think it's gonna be okay as far as look because it's just gonna kinda give it more of that rustic look um, but I don't think that's what the product was intended to do I think it was intended to give a very clear you know image transfer which I'm having a very difficult time getting it to do that. So I'm going to go over it again with a damp cloth. And this time I'm going to try and wring it out even drier. Because I think that may have been the problem. I went to the Plaid website, which is who makes Mod Podge products, to you know get their directions on how to do the how to do a photo transfer. And they said to use a damp sponge. So that tells me that this is not supposed to be very wet. And so I'm just going to try and do this a little bit again, just to remove this last little bit of fuzzy paper. And that seems to be working pretty good, but it's still leaving quite a bit of fuzziness behind. I am just not getting good results with this. Um, I'm really struggling with it. Um, let me get it maybe up a little closer where you can see the areas, uh, like right here. You know, the image just keeps wanting to come up down here in the corner, um, all uh, around the edges, at the top edge. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just give this a few more minutes, uh, you know, let it, this last little bit of moisture that I put on it dry, and I'm just going to continue to try and rub off 
without destroying the image this last little bit of fuzziness that's on it and then I'm going to go ahead and seal it with uh, this Mod, Mod Podge uh, matte finisher um, just so that no more, you know, while this photo book is being flipped through that no more of the image comes off, you know, while it's being flipped through. Now, I'm afraid to fool with it anymore because I'm afraid, you know, you won't be able to read Happy Father's Day anymore because there's such a large gap missing right here under the happy. The Y is starting to come up. Um, you know, and, and maybe I'm just not being patient enough with it, but, uh, I'm just not getting really good results with this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wait a few minutes, let this dry, and then come back and, and coat it with the, uh, matte Mod Podge. Well, my glue is dry, and I do feel like the image is now secure, but you can still see a lot of that haziness through it and some of the little bits and fibers of the paper through it. Um, and it does just have a bit of a kind of a rustic feel to it. In some respects, I think it does feel a little bit on purpose, uh, but I think because I know it's not, I'm not that happy with it. Um, and this is the cover. And again, you can just still see the haziness of the white paper. And I think what disappoints me about it is, is, according to the pictures that I saw on Plaid's website as well as on Darby Smart's website, you know, this is not what this finished product is supposed to look like. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead with it. I'm going to give it to my husband for Father's Day because I know him and he's got a wonderful heart and he is just going to appreciate that I made something for him. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this project up. Uh, I did go ahead and take the leather cord that came with it and cut it into two pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and thread thread it halfway through like so. Okay, so this is the back cover of my photo book. And I've got my pictures here and in order with this is going to be the the last one uh, in the book so actually I'm going to thread it on first I was able to come up with was just to simply tie a knot on either end because to tie it like that there just simply wasn't enough string and then to for the photo book to still be able to function so this project was very frustrating for me I was honestly I was excited about it because it was something different I had never worked with this medium before, uh, this photo transfer medium, and uh, so this was, I've never done any woodworking, so this was an opportunity for me to try a couple of very different things that were outside of my norm, uh, but it, it just really fell short uh, for the value of it, I gave it a three because I felt like there really wasn't quite twenty dollars worth of materials here to justify it being in a, a, a box and you know when they could have included extra length of the cording so that it would be more so that you could make you know put several pictures in here um, that would have brought the value of it up uh, I don't know what else they could have included that would have brought the value of maybe something to seal, you know, another little small bottle of Mott Mad Matte 
Mod Podge, rather, uh, you know, for the sealing to be able to seal the image. There's a couple of things they could have done here to bring the value up. So I gave it a value of three. The instructions on their website I gave a four because they were honestly very detailed and pretty specific. The only reason I didn't give them a, a higher score was because they didn't include some troubleshooting directions. For problems that seem like they're going to be fairly common with this, you know, like with the image coming up and the, and the full amount of the paper, that white haze of the paper not coming off. So there could have been some troubleshooting instructions in there, so I gave them a four. Ease of use was a three because it wasn't terribly difficult, it just wasn't terribly effective. So for the finished product, I, I gave it a two because it, for me, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Maybe other people had more success with it and this was just my experience was not being successful with it, but the overall score ends up being a three. So thank you so much for joining me today for this Father's Day project. Um, let me know if you subscribe to Dorby Smart and if you tried this project and how it worked out for you because I'd really like to hear someone else's experience on it. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a great day and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.